We have a presentation at ASH 2021 where we study uh, the role of the microenvironment uh, in patients that have been treated with combination therapy followed by maintenance therapy uh, to see if the microenvironment plays a role uh, in deep responses, specifically in sustained MRD negativity. And what's unique with this study is that we also study the longitudinal aspects of the microenvironment. So it's not just that we check at one time point and draw conclusions. We study what happens, the dynamics of the microenvironment. And what's very striking with this study uh, that we have done is that we see how cells in the microenvironment uh, or very different in patients that can achieve a deep response and sustain the deep response compared to those patients who do achieve a deep response but lose their MOD status. It's also very different from those patients that uh, will not receive a deep response in the first place. And when we also compare the microenvironment from individuals that achieve MOD negativity and sustain their MOD negativity, when we study over time and compare to healthy individuals, when we compare to people with MGUS and we compare to people with smoldering myeloma, we see that uh, the microenvironment in individuals that are treated with modern combination therapy, achieving MOD negative, staying on continuous, in this case, lanolidomide maintenance, that over time, the microenvironment seems to go towards a normalization, uh, and it looks very similar to the healthy donor's uh, uh, microenvironment. So probably if we want to achieve a deep response and sustain a deep response, or sustained MRD negativity, it probably takes a good therapy, uh, probably easier to do if the myeloma is less aggressive. And also, it probably takes a more healthy immune system. And if we need in the future to have drugs to boost and improve the immune system, that could probably be an important addition to myeloma-directed therapy.